okay so today we are going to discuss about a tutorial in which we'll show you from blog technica how to supercharge your device well uh, supercharging is actually a process in which we tweak uh, the internal kernels and stuff to increase the device performance basically uh, it fixes the ohm group uh, which means out of memory uh, groups and yeah it also like uh, fixes the uh, launcher thing if you want your launcher uh, default launcher which is generally uh, trebuchet in the ISIS, ICS ROM but uh, for the other ROMs it's like uh, I don't know what but yeah it fixes them it can make it die hard or you can say it makes it um, bulletproof which is like unkillable which means you can't uh, that the launcher process won't be killed by any of the applications until uh, the RAM usage is very high so here we go with the tutorial now so what do we need now uh, before we proceed with the tutorial you must know that mm, this uh, supercharging thing has some kind of requirements so what are the requirements now the requirement is uh, Android 2.2 plus device and it's not basically 2.2 plus it's 2.2 or 2.2 plus which means Froyo or above and it needs BusyBox to be installed on your device the version should be I think 18 plus I used 18.2 on Galaxy Y and uh, the latest version of uh, BusyBox on my Motorola D5 which I'm currently using so basically you need to have that BusyBox installed and an app from the Google Play called Script Manager so once you have those things see this is um, Script Manager so once you have these things you need to download um, the files which are needed for the process which are generally the scripts one is uh, the supercharger script was version 6 supercharger script and the other is kick ass kernelizer okay so uh, I have got those things on my device and now I'm starting with the process okay so yeah uh, I've placed it in a folder called speed up stuff and you can see here it is the version 6 supercharger for android update 9 rc10 test 7.sh.pdf don't confuse with the dot pdf thing it's not a pdf format uh, what you say pdf file it's generally a script which is needed to be run in the script manager so i'm running this now see there is a fab and su icon actually uh, when you are starting with it it's all white in color you will have to press the fab button and the su button so that they both turn colorful once they turn colorful that means they are working then once all of these things are seen means confirmed you just need to press the run button see the script is running now see it verifies the busy box version on your device and as you have um, pressed the SU button which means you have granted the super user permission and yeah I forgot to mention uh, you need a rooted device for this I'm really sorry that I didn't mention it before but actually you need a rooted device for this so here the script runs See, it says uh, that it needs version 16.2, 1.16.2, or you can say version 1.16.2 or higher for this script to run. So now you can see I use Go Launcher as my default launcher, but here it shows Go Launcher dot Go Widget dot Weather Widget, which is not my home launcher, right? So I press N for no, and then enter. So, 
android.process.accord is the home launcher it's right actually I have verified it with the boomstick it's a uh, tool in here in the script so basically it uh, gets to know what kind of launcher you are using and generally it is accurate with it so uh, in case if uh, it doesn't get you the correct process you can uh, try it with your own okay so now I'm pressing the enter key so generally I have all these things set up I have my device supercharged so you can see that miscellaneous tweaks and uh, all the other tweaks we can see they are all fixed right but for you guys I'm going to do it once more so that you can be ready with the tutorial so first you need to press 29 okay basically uh, for the first runners when you run uh, this script for the first time you generally are asked to uh, you are generally are put to 29 automatically which is uh, the driver options page uh, driver config so see I'm in driver options now you'll need to set the scrolling speed first which uh, I'll recommend one then miscellaneous tweaks I'll recommend Y that means yes let's see <laughs> if it's something different than Y oh yeah it's it says enter N for no or any key for yes so I say enter which means yes and then again it asks me to press enter so it asks me now to run fixed emissions on boot so yeah I want to run them on boot they generally help me in like what uh, fixing the force close and uh, the other uh, stuff which generally helps me uh, have a clean device you know actually uh, it corrects the permissions and thus helps so I again press enter and now it's running so the next thing which we have in uh, our pocket is wheel alignment generally it aligns all the apk files which means all the application files in an order so that your device can uh, run faster basically it arranges all the fragments at a place in an ordered value so the next thing is detailing which says you have many SQLite databases that become fragmented and op optimized for a few days this tool will optimize with them and hence you'll have a faster device so I again press Y for yes to run detailing on boot then again I press the enter key and yeah here is a awesome animation thing which is the default of the script so I say we shouldn't disable it right because they these guys are helping us with that so we should also keep uh, the animation thing as a souvenir so I press N for now driver options has been saved now we move to the console and get on with the supercharging thingy well you can see that uh, my supercharger level is 100% supercharged right because I have already supercharged my phone so but nah, but if you see that on your device you'll see it's maybe it may be 25% or 50% uh, most probably it will be 25% so how to get it to 100% now well you can see here it is uh, the supercharger settings supercharger and launcher status uh, unleaded leaded super ul unleaded leaded super ul again super 768 hp and super 1000 hp okay so basically i would recommend 5 6 or 7 if you are heavy multitasker uh, i would recommend a 5 if you are balanced one i would recommend a 6 like uh, I use the um, value 6 only and if you're a high applicant uh, high 
performance gamer or something you need to have a high uh, amount of RAM free so you can set the device setting to aggressive so once it is in aggressive mode it starts killing apps more drastically and hence you get free RAM all the time so here I select 6 you see it's because I'm a balanced user <laughs> not an aggressive one nor a multitasker I'm a multitasker but not a too heavy one so see it's supercharging my phone now once we are done with this uh, we'll have to fix uh, the ohm groupings and uh, for non ICS and uh, non jelly bean devices you can uh, make your launcher die hard or bulletproof but for ICS and jelly bean you can only fix the ohm groupings you cannot make your launcher die hard or um, bulletproof because it doesn't support it in the ice cream sandwich thing so see uh, it's almost done now with the supercharged thing and now we'll soon proceed to ohm group fixes oh so actually my device dozed off um, so it's going on Let's see it's all done <laughs> it's now setting the low memory killer which is um, auto memory values it's all done creating scripts and all and then finally it's done so now moving to the grouping fixes out of memory grouping fixes okay so mm, let me show you there are three options for that you see the option 11 12 and 13 they are all ohm grouping fixes plus you have the launcher type thing if you are on ICS and jelly bean forget about that just concentrate on ohm group grouping fixes and if you are a non jelly bean or ICS user you can concentrate on both well if you are non jelly bean and ICS uh, non ICS I would recommend a 13 once you run that um, you'll get a bulletproof launcher and and uh, a good ohm group fix so here I run 13 though I am on ISIS it doesn't affect me you see it says the launcher is strongest and unkillable this script can't supercharge launchers on ICS it can only apply ADG, ADJ and group fixes so as I said before it's of no use for me uh, I mean the bulletproof thing part but yeah the own group fixes they are really useful so you must go through this and yeah you have one more option if you want some custom values for your out of memory um, groups you can use uh, the custom ohm thing from there you can set custom ohm priority values if you don't want to go with the two three four five six seven options so uh, here it's almost complete it's almost complete uh, now we'll proceed with some basic stuff I'll show you you just need to follow the instructions you know and it's really easy
you see we have done with all the stuff now there is a nitro lag nullifier you can enable it if you want but uh, I would recommend not enabling it because if you are on 3G it really affects the speed it would drastically decrease the 3G speed you know it would be uh, much slower uh, than the 2G thing so if you don't use 3G and uh, want uh, a non laggy device you can enable the stuff but I won't recommend it because I'm a 3G user hardcore 3G user and it just drastically decreases my speed on ICS it may be incre uh, it may be of uh, no bugs on non ICS things non ICS non jelly bean things but if you are on ICS and jelly bean please don't activate the no, uh, nitro lag nullifier for users who are for users who are uh, non ICS non jelly bean they must uh, activate nitro lag nullifier okay so I won't be uh, enabling it on my device <laughs> actually because uh, it just decreases my speed um, internet speed drastically so generally it's not hard once you uh, put 22 here and press an and press the enter key you'll you'll be asked to uh, say yes by pressing y and all so once you're done with that you are you have nitro lag nullifier installed and running so you're done with this supercharged thing now you need to super clean and restart that means you need to press 32 now and then the enter key that means it will wipe your dalvik cage and your device will start i bet once the device starts and is up and running you will surely experience a boost in speed so that was a tutorial on supercharging a device using the version 6 supercharger for Android by Zeppelin Rocks. Uh, actually, the script version 6 supercharger for Android is created by Zeppelin Rocks, and uh, we are no no means in we are in no means affiliated with that. We are just making a tutorial for your convenience. So, take care. Goodbye from Blog Technica.